Tell you what, if you would, please stand, and uh, we'll continue with this praise. We'll start with hymn four, Almighty.
pray with me this morning? Lord God, it is an amazing day that you have given us today to come into your house and to lift up your holy name. Lord, thank you so much for the reminder this week with the snow that you are an amazing God and that you can make it snow in February in Louisiana. Lord God, the smiles on the faces of my little girls reminded me that you love us, that each and every day you're looking for ways to remind us of that love. And so, Lord, as we have come into your house today to lift up your name, Lord, let it be with the truest of hearts that we hear your word and we sing your praises. Lord, that we may go this week and boldly proclaim that you are the God of our lives and that you are worthy of our worship. Be with us, Lord. Guide us and protect us as only you can. In your name we pray. Amen. Be seated. It's good to see you this morning. I'm glad the snow didn't keep you at bay. I don't know about you, but I still have a partially, I guess, uh, melted snowman on my front lawn. And uh, hoping that that will stay. Uh, the, the day that it snowed, uh, Georgia and I and Julia made a snowman and went out there and uh, built it all up and everything. And Georgia said, we have to go to the North Pole, Daddy. I said, why? She goes, so Frosty will live. I said, well, Frosty might not be here in the morning, so if you want to play with him, you need to go do that. She said, well, I'm going to go give him a hug. And she did. She went out there and hugged him, and he fell over. So uh, thank you, Lord, for the snow. Amen. If you're a guest with us this morning, we are excited that you are here, and we have a portion of our worship guide that says, for our guests, and we would be honored if you would fill that out so that we could begin a relationship with you. And also for our members, we have a member update, and if you have a prayer request that you would like to share with the church or with the staff, there's a portion for that as well in the back. You can take that, fill it out, tear it off, drop it in the offering plate, and so we'll know uh, what you need from us here at Temple Baptist Church, because we're here to serve you. From Paul's letters to the Corinthians and Romans, For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with clever words, so that the cross of Christ will not be emptied of its effect. I did not come with brilliance of speech or wisdom, for I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe without hearing about him? And how can they hear without preaching? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how welcome are the feet of those who announce the gospel of good things. God bless God and in God's word. Please have a seat.
Would you pray with me, please? Father, you are an awesome God, and we just thank you for the privilege of being in your house this morning to praise your name through music and the spoken word. And we thank you also for the opportunity we have for, uh, to receive our tithes and our offerings above, above that, Father, the gifts that we give to you. And I pray that they will be used to further your word, to speak, uh, preach the name of Jesus throughout the world, and both here and at home. And we thank you for the privilege we have of doing that, Father. The money is needed not just for the sake of uh, our giving it that would look good for us, but that would actually reach people for you. And that's the ultimate goal that we should have in our lives. Thank you for blessing us this day, for giving us a beautiful day to use. And we pray that we'll continue that worship as we'll come back tonight later. Thank you for loving us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. 